Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. And special thanks to CP for sharing this. As you can see from the thumbnail, we're going to see what happens to people when they merely touched the container of this water. They say it heals, blesses, and saves. My friends, there is only one thing that saves, and that is Jesus Christ, when you repent and put your faith in Him and His sacrifice for the sins of mankind. Anybody saying that anything else can save is a liar. This comes from the late T.B. Joshua's Synagogue Church of All Nations, and you can see it's a big church. He states that God can use any medium to express himself, and he's absolutely right. God can do whatever he wants. We can also see the scriptures he uses to support his magic water. Sorry, but that's what I'm calling it. God used Paul's handkerchief and aprons to heal the sick. God did that, not Paul. He used Moses' staff to split the Red Sea. Yes, God told Moses to do that. TB says he used the voices of Peter and John to raise the crippled man. Well, sort of. Jesus gave them authority to heal people. God used a dirty river to heal Naman. Once again, God's choice. And we could go on to all the other examples, but the point is that it was God's doing, instructing, or authorizing of all these things. And when you see what happens to these people, I'm sure you'll agree that God has nothing to do with any of this. Now, he makes a good point and says that it's not the anointing water that heals, but Jesus Christ himself. Well, if it's Jesus doing the healing, then why do we need this magic water? But then he says there must be faith both in the person praying and the person being prayed for. And if you don't get healed, I guess you just didn't have enough faith. But hey, at least he's not selling it. Then again, why would he when he's got 145 other products you can buy? And if you do a YouTube search, you'll see many different posts of this. And unfortunately, people are falling for this all over the place and all throughout Africa. So let's watch what happened when they merely touched the boxes in this video distributing this stuff in Durban, South Africa. Hard to believe people are lined up for this. Oh, and down goes the first one. Oh, oh, come on, ma'am. Keep it together. Really? The crippled man got up and walked, not fell down and choked. Like seriously, if this is happening just from touching the box, what's the water going to do? That looks like possessed, not blessed. Remember that one of the fruits of God's Holy Spirit is self-control, not out of control. Thank you, Jesus. And we could watch all four minutes of this video, but it's really just a bunch of the same stuff. I'll leave the link in the description below. But if you do believe this stuff, please realize this isn't of God. Anyone saying that a product can save you is a liar. And when you see people becoming out of control like this, it's either because they're acting or being afflicted by demons. Ask yourself, how does God get any honor or glory from this nonsense? Not much more to be said, but I pray for God to open the eyes of all people that believe in specially anointed products rather than Jesus, because nowhere in scripture are we told to anoint things and then do mass distributions of them. 
So we'll leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.